ODL Live is an engine for optimizing delivery routes. This video showcases a simulation we created of an on-demand food delivery network delivering meals from restaurants to customers. The scheduling and dispatching is controlled by the ODL Live engine embedded within the simulator. ODL Live solves real-time route optimization problems such as delivering takeout food on demand from restaurants. Typically, users integrate the ODL Live engine with their existing manual dispatch system using the engine's web service API. The API follows a modern RESTful JSON design. ODL Live also comes with a simulator tool. The simulator wraps around the engine and simulates the creation of orders and movement of vehicles. You can use the simulator to test what-if scenarios and rerun historic days. The ODL Live Simulator is a black box, which can output video footage. The following footage was output by the simulator running an artificial food delivery scenario set in Brooklyn, New York. We have 85 vehicles delivering 1,000 orders from 25 restaurants. The orders are created over a space of three hours. The panel on the right cycles between different drivers. Drivers do pick-up stops at restaurants, which are shown with a food icon, and drop-off stops, which are shown by the person icon. The optimizer holds back a buffer of jobs, only dispatching them to drivers five minutes before they head to the pick-up location. The number of jobs currently in the buffer is shown by the undispatched counter in the information panel on the right. A dotted line indicates a journey planned by the optimizer but not yet sent to the driver. The optimizer is continually moving the dotted line journeys around between different drivers, optimizing in response to new jobs being created. The bold lines indicate journeys that have already been dispatched to the driver. They correspond to the driver's next one or two locations. The optimizer spoon feeds the driver the next one or two journeys, whilst constantly replanning the journeys that follow these to create the most efficient routes. We let the drivers hold up to three different orders on board at once, providing this doesn't push the delivery times back unacceptably or mean hot meals stay on board for too long and get cold. The optimizer understands both delivery time constraints and onboard time constraints. It provides real-time automated control. If a driver starts to run late, jobs assigned to them but not yet dispatched may be moved to different drivers. If deliveries cannot be completed within the agreed time, orders will be automatically spread out between drivers to minimize the lateness. We use the simulator to test two different strategies for dispatching orders to drivers, deferred dispatching and immediate dispatching. Deferred dispatching is the default strategy used in ODL Live. In contrast, immediate dispatching is the standard model used in many on-demand delivery companies. With deferred dispatching, in our simulation, we only send orders to drivers five minutes before the driver needs to head to the pickup restaurant. If a new order comes in and the driver needs to head to the restaurant straight away, the order is sent to the driver straight away. However, if the driver is currently delivering other orders and won't head to the pickup restaurant for another 20 minutes, we delay telling the driver about the order for a while. Immediate dispatching deals with this process differently. A new order is sent to the driver as soon as it's booked, even if the driver won't head to the pickup restaurant for another half an hour. With deferred dispatching, the optimizer will hold back a buffer of undispatched orders, shown as the dotted line journeys in the previous video clip. In that clip, we held back up to 150 undispatched orders at peak times. Conversely, with immediate dispatching, there is no buffer of undispatched orders held back. With deferred dispatching, undispatched orders are frequently reassigned to different drivers as conditions change. For example, when new jobs are created or unexpected delays occur, this makes the delivery network more robust, as a late-running driver can have their undispatched orders reassigned to a different driver. The drivers themselves only see dispatched orders, so they are unaware of this ongoing reassignment. On the other hand, with immediate dispatching, orders are never reassigned to a different driver after order creation. The sequence of orders on a driver's route can still change, but not the assignment of order to driver. 
Deferred dispatching uses a full dynamic, aka real-time, vehicle route optimization model. In contrast with immediate dispatching, the assignment decisions are made one at a time. As a result, companies who use immediate dispatching often implement this using a machine learning-based recommender system. These two videos show side-by-side -side simulations with the exact same food orders, booked at the same time, and the same vehicles available. The only difference is the video on the left uses deferred dispatching, and on the right, immediate dispatching. Deliveries finish 14 minutes earlier when we use deferred dispatching. In other words, telling drivers about orders later actually means deliveries get done earlier. We created five different scenarios by randomly generating different sets of 1,000 orders and 85 vehicles. We then looked at three key statistics. Statistic 1, order completion time, is the time between the order being booked by the customer and delivered to their doorstep. Statistic 2, on board time, is the amount of time the meal is on board the vehicle getting cold. Our third statistic is the total driving time summed over all drivers. ODL Live was configured to minimize all three statistics, taking into account their relative importance. We found that for every run, for every key statistic, deferred dispatching gave better results than immediate dispatching. We also re-ran the scenarios but adding random variation to travel time and stop duration to align better with real life. Again, for every run and statistic, deferred dispatching was better. Based on these results, we recommend on-demand food delivery companies should always use deferred dispatching, never immediate dispatching. With deferred dispatching, customers get their food earlier and with the least impact on quality. Deferred dispatching is also better for the environment, as it reduces the number of miles driven and the CO2 emitted. Immediate dispatching is often implemented using a machine learning algorithm, whereas deferred dispatching is an optimization problem that can only be solved using an optimization algorithm. We therefore advise against using ML-based dispatch algorithms. ML is still useful in other areas though. For example, ODL Live uses ML to estimate traffic patterns as part of its travel time calculation. If you want to improve the efficiency of your deliveries or you have any questions, please visit odllive.com to organize a consultation.